With an influx of unaccompanied young migrants arriving at the border, the Biden administration is now receiving criticism for detaining these children for many weeks until they can be reunited with their families. And we want to bring in now Janet Morgia, the president and CEO of Unitas U.S. National Latinx Advocacy Organization. Ma'am, thank you so much for being here. And, and, and the Biden administration is getting criticism from the left and the right for reopening this facility that President Trump had opened that was holding uh, these minors, um, including uh, AOC herself saying this is not okay, never has this been okay, never will this be okay, no matter the administration or party. So your, let me get your take on this particular facility that the Biden administration says we it hopefully will only be open for a short time. This is a temporary fix. What are your thoughts on it? Well, I think everybody recognizes that President Biden inherited an awful mess. And really what was seen as a stain on our a country when President Trump uh, initiated the zero tolerance policy that actually separated children from their families. So President Biden has asked for a little bit of time to sort things through. He's worked closely with Susan Rice, who's actually now domestic policy advisor, but who has international knowledge. She's met with many of us directly to assure us that they are trying to make sure they can move these children through as quickly as possible. But AOC, Congresswoman uh, Ocasio-Cortez, is absolutely right. We are going to be very vigilant. We're going to be very scrutinizing. And we hope that they will deal and uh, understand already the importance of how we handle these children. I do commend President Biden for making sure that right away there is a commission that was put together to reunite those families that were separated. Janet, let's talk about President Biden's emerging cabinet. So far, less than half of President Biden's cabinet-level nominees have actually been uh, nominated. You recently told The Washington Post you saw what you called a, quote, very troubling pattern and a double standard in the confirmation process. How so? Well, what we're seeing is that by this time in most administrations, the majority of a president's cabinet would have been approved or confirmed. President uh, Biden has appointed one of the most diverse cabinets, if not the most diverse cabinet in the history of, of, of the U.S. And yet what we're seeing is an effort uh, to somehow see those nominees who are women or people of color uh, for some reason slowed down and for questions to be raised and the way they've been raised about these nominees to give us reason to believe there's some sort of what my friend, uh, president of the National Urban League, Mark Moriel, called racial hazing. It seems like they're being singled out, and it smacks of something deeper going on here. Uh, I want to turn to the pandemic now, if we can, which has um, once again highlighted how uh, communities of color have been disproportionately impacted by the pandemic and also uh, are always impacted by uh, our health care system. But are you seeing not just that for the Latinx community, it's being highlighted during the pandemic. But are you seeing any signs that we're actually learning from it and doing something better than we have in the past? Well, I feel like uh, we are very much still struggling mm. in terms of how to deal with this pandemic. Again, I commend President Biden for tackling an issue that uh, had not been addressed uh, in, uh, with a very uh, specific or comprehensive plan. Well, unfortunately, we're seeing, unfortunately, disproportionately communities of color like the Latino and African-American communities impacted by COVID. We're uh, twice as likely to contract uh, the virus and we're four times as likely to be hospitalized and three times as likely to die. And when it comes to the vaccine right now, there's still not enough equitable distribution, not enough folks in our community are getting the vaccine and we also have to work to make sure that we're taking the vaccine to where the people are. And up until now, that just hasn't been the case. Obviously, we have more vaccines now, and we're working in partnership now with the CDC to make sure uh, that they are targeting communities and going actually 
into communities to make sure we're distributing this vaccine. Yeah, Janet, the CDC actually uh, reached out to a group like yours and others to try and target specifically these community of color who absolutely need this vaccine. They tend to be the frontline workers, and yet, as we just heard you say, they are disproportionately negatively affected by this disease. So specifically, what are you doing to get the word out to get those vaccines to the people who need it most? Well, in addition to the equitable distribution challenges, there are challenges within our community because there is hesitancy. There's some concerns about the vaccine and its effectiveness and rooted in the past where we've seen, unfortunately, communities of color again uh, targeted for testing and uh, not done so in a way that has been at the highest standards. So it's incumbent on many of us who are trusted partners like Needles US, like the NAACP and the black community to make sure we're working to uh, convince and to provide education information that the vaccine is effective and that it will be important to protecting our communities and allowing them to go back to those moments with their families. That hesitancy has to be addressed. Otherwise, we'll never get past uh, this uh, pandemic, which is affecting all the public. All right, plenty more to address. And I know this is an ongoing effort and an ongoing conversation we hope we can continue to have with you, uh, certainly, President and CEO of Unitas U.S., Janet Margia. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you soon, all right? Thank you both. Appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.